the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, heavily regulates the ability of drug makers to innovate and develop new drugs to treat disease. As the cost of R&D for new drugs continues to escalate, that makes drugs cost even more. So it's my preference that we move to a more competitive model where we say, let's encourage more companies to come in and innovate and deliver new innovative medicines at a lower cost than the ones that exist today. And if we can create opportunities for drug companies after, say, phase two trials to, uh, in limited ways, launch their drugs for limited populations, they can then fund their own research and development through the revenues they're generating from those limited populations. Let's say, for example, you have a new drug for cholesterol. Approve it after phase two in a very limited population that's refractory to existing treatments, and the revenue that the company generates from that can fund the larger phase three trials, and that reduces the cost of innovation for new companies.